good looking? Welcome. Today's workout is a 15 minute total body dumbbell workout. We are going to hit every single muscle in the body one round. So it's 14 different moves we're doing. I know, awesome. So listen, you will need some tools. I want you to grab a pair of moderate dumbbells and then just one lighter dumbbell. All right, all right, let's go get busy. fitnesswithpj.com and like I said in the intro we've got 14 exercises one round so this is the perfect workout when you're short on time or if you have exercise ADD and need constant changing of movements so we're gonna get right into it right away our first movement is a body weight movement and it will also warm us up let me show you what it looks like we bend the knees we come down we walk out we drop into a push-up good and we walk back all right, we can also tap the knees down for the push-up. If push-ups aren't your jam, just do the walkouts with us. 50 seconds are on the clock. Ready, set, let's go. Walk out, good. Neck lines up with the spine. Elbows going back in that push-up. One round, that's all we need to do with these movements. Woo. I'm trying to work on my push-up. How about you at home? Literally the hardest movement to work on, but we can do it. Stick with me. <laughs> we need our moderate dumbbells coming up for the next move. Keep that plank strong in the push up. A lot of core here when you do a push up. Time. All right, moderate dumbbells, one in each hand. Beginners, just hold on to one center of the body. Start with a squat, so feet shoulder width apart, squat. Now as you come up, lead with the heel and give me a side leg lift. Other side. So it's important you lead with the heel, not the toe. Then that will definitely get the muscle I'm trying to aim for, which is your outer hip muscle. Shoulder blades are pulled together. When we're working with dumbbells, there's a lot going on than just the movement itself. We have to remember our posture, our core, breathe, <laughs> so much. <laughs> working our back muscles for the next movement. And we'll just keep these dumbbells that we have. So if you only have one, you'll need two on this next one. Here we go, grab them each. Hip hinge, so softness in the knees, neutral spine. Arms are straight, pull one elbow up, release the other elbow. Alternating rows, working into the back muscles, back of the shoulder and the biceps. Pull the belly button in towards your spine, tighten up those core muscles. If you start to feel your low back, I want you to readjust that core or perhaps take a look at your form. Make sure that your back isn't rounded. You want that neutral spine, so we're hinging over the hip joint, all right, not the low back. On the ground for the next move with the dumbbells still. We're kind of married to these dumbbells for a bit, so. <laughs> Time. Take her down. Bum on the ground. Now dumbbells are resting in the chest and they're touching each other. That's important. From here, just press straight up. Bring them down into the chest. Elbows coming down to your ground. So dumbbells close together, chest press, putting more emphasis on the triceps, the back of the arm. In a lot of my workouts, I like to really focus on the triceps and the glutes. I find that those are two commonly weak areas in women, and areas we don't want weak. We want a tight ass and toned triceps. Ass like a 20 year old, that's what I tell people, that's what we're working for. Pick up the tempo a little bit on this, I really do want you to feel the back of the arm on this movement. Good job, almost there. 
time. All right, now dumbbells to the side, stay here. Frog pumps. I want you to bring your feet so that they're touching, so that means you really have to open up the knees into a frog position or butterfly position. Now lift the hips up and give me a little pumps. I know it's not an attractive move <laughs> by any means. It's pretty hilarious if somebody were to walk in on you right now, but it is highly effective for the glutes and inner thighs, and that's what we're targeting. <laughs> Don't let the bum really drop on your mat either. Okay, it just kisses your ground and then boom, frog pump back up. Woo, you feel that? Yeah, baby. Say hello to a toned tush. Working our low back muscles and posture muscles for the next move. We'll be just flipping over onto our stomachs. Time, all right. Dig your toes in the ground. Let's keep the feet on the ground. Arms extend, lift the chest, bring the elbows in towards the rib cage, extend back. Lift the chest and arms, elbows in and out. Keep those feet on the ground, neck in line with the spine. Oh, this one feels good on the low back, doesn't it? It's a really nice back and posture move. Standing with our dumbbells next. Time. Dumbbells resting at the shoulders. Feet shoulder width apart, squat and shoulder press. Let's do the squat first. Bum back, elbows down to thighs, come up, press up. Good. Chest stays lifted, bum sits rearward. Again, not rounding the low back. Remember that neutral spine position. Nice, smooth, steady rhythm. Hitting legs, core, shoulders, triceps. Woo wee. Total body move right here. your stance, hence the name of the exercise. Come up off of the back heel so we have most of our weight on that front leg. Soften that front knee, now hinge over the thigh and pull back, squeeze the booty on that back. So keep the back flat or neutral. Push your hips back as you come forward and then push through the heel, really squeezing the glutes as you lift the body up. You wanna feel this hamstring and glute on this front leg. Now with that said, we also have our posture muscles working because we're not allowing the shoulders to round forward with the dumbbells. It's a slight tap of the toe on that back leg. More advanced people, feel free, you can even lift it up. Time, other side, all right? So softness in the working leg. Again, it's a hip hinge, so you're pushing your hips back. Let's give her a try, ready? Down. Drive up, squeeze the booty. Put emphasis on that push of the heel, squeeze at the glute as we lift up. good for the tush too. Time. 
Keep these dumbbells, bicep curls, working into the arms now. Turn the palms so they're facing me. Curl the hands up to the shoulders, slowly lower. Now have the palms facing the body, so what we call a hammer curl, and perform the curl. So two different hand positions, facing me, and then facing you. So this way we get both heads of the biceps. Then we will work the other side of our arm, the triceps, for those toned triceps, coming up next. Not swinging the arm, no, you wouldn't do that. No, you're better than that. Just use those biceps. Not gravity, not momentum. All right, now let's get ourselves in that hip hinge. Elbows up, okay? Give me a kick back, then come back. Now give me the kick back and two pulses. One, two. All right, here we go. So one regular tricep kick back, and now pump it for two. Good. Kick back, pump it for two. Excellent. When we pump it, we're trying to keep those elbows straight. Let's try it here. One, two. Kick back, pump it. Woo wee. Feel the back of the upper arm? Uh huh. Love this move. Almost there. Hang in there. We're on our final moves coming up. lift up. Now take this hand right in front of the chest, lift up to shoulder height, not behind the body, just to lined up with the shoulder and slowly lower. Do it again. So slowly lower down, <laughs> don't let gravity take over and the hand goes flying down to your ground. Control it, working into the shoulders here while we also work into the core. More advanced people, stack your feet and come into a total side plank. Also stagger the feet too if you find your balance starting to go. Time. All right, other side. So, elbow under shoulder. That's the setup. Bottom knee. Now the hand starting right in front of the shoulder. Lift up, lined up with the shoulders. We're not allowing it to go behind the body. Controlling the movement. The entire rep, you are in full control. That dumbbell isn't taking over. Gravity isn't taking over. More advanced people, stack your feet or stagger one in front if you find that the balance is being challenged. Ooh, like right there for me. So one more core move coming up and then we're done. You can continue on with your day. Bravo for fitting it in. I'm assuming you picked this workout because it's short and you don't have a lot of time. So hats off to you for still fitting it in. Time. All right, beginners, one dumbbell, oh, sorry, lighter dumbbell, intermediate advanced, moderate. High plank, okay? Take the left hand, grab onto that dumbbell, bring it to the left side of the body. Now take the left hand and tap the toe. Right hand, dumbbell, right toe. Now you can also tap the knee, okay, or the hip if that toe tap isn't available to you. So it's a dumbbell pull through, same hand comes back and taps that opposite toe. Dumbbell pull, pull through, tap. Feet are apart, keep this plank tight. Final move, hang in there. One more, 
time. Shake it out. You did it. High five. All right, now before you take off for your day, I want you to do a couple things for me. One, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Two, just drop a quick comment. I would love to know what you thought of the workout and where the heck do you call home? Where are you working out at? Have yourself a great rest of your day. Mwah. Woo, that went by fast. Good job.